Hey friends, my name is Valerie. Welcome back to the Motopress YouTube channel. If you rent out items, gear, spaces or stays, today's video is for you. Whether it's bikes, boats or beach cabin, tennis courts, glamping sites, rooms or tools, if it needs a calendar, we've got it covered. In this video, I'll walk you through the Motopress booking calendar plugin, the one that makes it super easy to handle hourly, daily, or nightly bookings right from your website. It's flexible, it's user-friendly, and it's made to fit all kinds of rental businesses, large or small. It's easy to set up, fully visual, and designed to keep your booking process smooth on both ends. So let's take a closer look at how it works. So first, let's quickly install and activate the plugin. When you've downloaded the plugin as a zip file from the Motopress website, go to plugins, add plugin, then hit upload plugin at the top, choose the zip file, install it, and activate. Once it's active, you'll see a new menu called calendars in your dashboard, and that's where your rental setup begins. So now let's go to calendars and I'll show you how to create your first one. Click add calendar and a pop-up will appear. Here you'll add a label, basically the name of your rental. And if you have multiple units, then tick the checkbox. Then choose your booking type, nightly, daily or hourly. For this example, I'll go with nightly. Once you've said that, click continue. Okay, great. Now be attentive with the date range you'll be working with. By default, it shows a month from the current date, but you can select any range you need. Just don't forget to click update once you've set it. Next, it's time to add your units. Click the pencil icon to open the variation settings and in the edit variation window, give your rental unit a title. You can also upload an image and add a description. Totally optional, but helpful. Then specify the number of units of that type you have available. Good. Then we click Bulk Edit. It lets us set availability for all units at once. A real time saver since you're working from one interface. Here you can choose the days of the week, select your units and make them available or unavailable for those days. And of course, set the price. When you're done, hit save and then close the window. As for the currency, you can set it up in the plugin's global settings. And just so you know, you can assign different currencies for each calendar. And I'll show you how to do that a bit later in this video. Okay, let's add one more variation. After clicking save, you'll notice a plus icon. You can use that to add more units. Or click the pencil icon again to edit an existing one. 
This time I'll use the plus icon. And you can see just how quick and easy this is. Now, if you have any exceptions or need to make changes later, you can always adjust the status, availability, and price right here in the calendar by simply clicking on the cells you need. You can edit several dates at once so updates are quick it's all fast and visual right in one interface as for daily bookings i've already set up a calendar off camera the interface is identical so we won't stop on it here but if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments below now let's take a look at hourly bookings just like before click add calendar give it a name choose hourly as your booking type and hit continue as you can see i've already created some variations here to save us a bit of time the setup flow is just as visual as before but this time you're working with time slots and to start adding your time slots just click the plus icon then select the start and end time after that choose whether it repeats it could be a one-off daily every weekday weekly or monthly i go for daily you can create different time slots to suit your business needs and here is something cool time slots can even overlap or start on one day and end on the next it's all possible with our plugin feel free to add as many time slots as you need when you're done click bulk edit again you'll need to select the days you want to work with you can edit each time slot individually or handle them all at once just pick the time slot set it to available or unavailable and if you want apply those settings to all time slots by clicking copy to all time slots the same goes for setting the price when your time slots are available i repeat this process for all my variations And if you ever need to edit a time slot, you've got options. You can apply changes just to that one slot or choose from the other two options you see here, depending on how broad the changes needs to be. Now that all your calendars are ready, it's time to take care of the form. On the front end, everything works in synergy. Calendar plus form that's the formula if you haven't created a form yet you'll see an add new form link inside each calendar and that means you can create a unique form for every calendar if needed the form editor is split into three main zones on the left you've got a list of all available fields actually these are blocks so you can drag and drop these into the common field section or into a specific variation so that fields will only appear if the customer selects that option. On the right, you'll see the form settings. Here you can set a custom currency for this form, regardless of what's chosen in global settings. And yes, this is also where you can add notifications 
I'll show you how to do that later in the video, so stick around. But if you're not planning to add extra fields for individual variations, one universal form is more than enough, and it'll save you time. To create that, go to the Forms menu and click Add new form. I'll walk you through it. First, I choose the currency. Besides the default fields, I'm going to add a checkbox field. I'll use it for terms and conditions. You can make this field required and either checked or unchecked by default. But most importantly, it supports price adjustment, which means you can use it for extras like an additional bed, airport pickup, or anything else that adds to the total. You can also add layout blocks to better organize the form if needed. And don't forget to add a title. I'll call mine general. Then click Create. Now you can go back to each calendar and apply the same form across all of them. If you want to add a little more context or visuals to the booking page, just click the pencil icon and edit the page like any other WordPress page. And of course, don't forget to save changes. Last but not least, let's set up notifications. First, select the form, then choose a template from the drop down, either new booking or canceled booking. Once selected, give your notification a title and click publish. That's it. Now you can edit the mail template using any of the tags available. Now let's see how the booking process works on the front end from the client's side. First up, nightly bookings. And if you offer more than one type of property, clients can use a filter to narrow down their choice, or they can skip that step and jump straight into picking their available dates. After choosing the property, you can head to checkout or book more accommodations since the multi-booking feature is supported. Then the form kicks in Depending on how you've set it up, clients fill in their name, email, phone number, and any custom fields you've added, like extras or special requests. And after submitting the form, they'll see a confirmation screen. And just like that, the booking is complete. Everything happens in just a few clicks. Now let's move on to daily bookings. The process here is just as simple. The client picks an available day on the calendar. They can choose a single day or a date range. Then they select the rental unit or unit and proceed to the booking form. Everything else works the same. They fill in their details, hit book now, and it's done. And finally, let's check out hourly bookings. Clients first choose the date and then a time slot from the calendar. Once they select their time and click check out, the form appears. And just like before, they fill it out and submit the booking. 
the whole process is fast, flexible, and super easy. So for both you and your clients. As an admin, you can easily check all your bookings right in your WordPress dashboard. Head over to the bookings menu where you'll see a list of all reservations. Click on any booking to view full details or update the status. Well, that wraps up our overview of the Motopress WordPress Booking Calendar plugin, your go-to solution for managing bookings by the hour, day or night. And we'll be creating more detailed videos soon, diving deeper into custom fields uh, in the form editor, the booking calendar blog, use cases, and much more. And here is some exciting news. The next plugin update will include Stripe payment integration, making it even easier for your clients to pay securely online. And if you want to stay in the loop, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, drop them in the comments. I'm here to help. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to show you what's next.